And now let's throw it over to Wallace with the Storyteller. Why did you do that if I'm just right here? Whatever. Hello everyone, I'm Wallace and it's time to talk about the Storyteller. First of all, the Storyteller started out as its own series and then later reruns of it were shown during the Jim Henson Hour. The premise is John Hurt plays the titular storyteller and as his name suggests he tells stories on the show. Wow what a surprise! Shut up Sid! He has a dog companion played by Brian Henson and throughout the stories they interject and give their thoughts and such things like that. The first story is called The Heartless Giant. A young prince named Leo is tricked into helping a heartless giant escape from the king's dungeon. The evil giant unleashes terror across the kingdom and those who go off to fight him never return. So it's up to Leo to go out and stop him. Along the way he performs several selfless acts for a bird, a salmon, and a wolf. When Leo arrives he sees that everyone, including his brothers, who have gone off to battle the giant have been turned to stone. When Leo confronts the giant he tells him that he has been banished and asks if he'll let him stay. So the young prince becomes the servant to the giant all the while trying to find where the giant has hidden his heart. So what do I like about this first little segment? Well I like the story. I'm not gonna spoil how it ends but it's one of those endings that, even though it kind of makes you mad, you understand why they did it, and it's the kind of ending that, honestly, I think more children's stories should have. Plus, it just has a really good flow to it. In something else, they could have tried and dragged it out and made it longer, but here, it works. The 30 minutes is enough. Also, I like the special effects. The scenes where the storyteller and the dog are looking in on the story going on, that's really cool looking. Like even for this time, even now it looks cool. And lastly, and surprisingly, I really like the puppets. I, I've never been a big fan of puppets, but here they're really cool. Stuff like the giant's life-size hand picking up Leo, just the giant himself, these aren't Muppets, these are creatures, and they look awesome. Stuff like the wolf. This is just some really nice looking stuff. And it's a shame that if this was done today, it'd all be done with a computer. Not saying computer effects are bad, but when something's real, it just looks nicer. So, what don't I like about this story? The pacing towards the end. I feel like they could have maybe shortened something somewhere else and stretched this out. It just feels like, oh, we have to go do this. Oh, we've done it. Okay. But that's my only problem. The Heartless Giant is a great segment. It's a great story. It's got one of those endings you don't get too often. The special effects are really neat. The puppets are really cool. It's one worth checking out. Thank you for watching. His brothers tell him a giant lives there with no heart. But he doesn't believe it.